Hello, I'm Gus Jacacci. As you probably know, running for the U.S. House as an independent. Independent. I'm 73 years old. I'm a grandfather. And the number one reason I'm running, and this may be a little push on you, but here it comes. I believe that Vermont can abolish war. We can be the first political body in the world to set about the abolition of war because don't forget, in 1777 when we wrote our own constitution, 10 years ahead of the American constitution, we abolished slavery. We were the first political body of people in the world to do that. Years, decades ahead of England and decades again, century ahead of, of the United States of America. So Vermont towns and villages can do what they damn please in political pioneering. And I'm running because I believe every single Vermont town and village can figure out in town meeting using that wonderful direct democracy form can actually abolish the institution of war. Now you may think that war is part of human nature and people will claim that's the case. No. I would say anger is part of human nature. I would say war is not like the anger or the blood in your body, the bones, the psyche, the soul, the hair on your head. No, it is not part of human nature. It is a social invention. Like the Internal Revenue Service is. And at some day and at some point, all social inventions become irrelevant and obsolete. They just plain not only go out of fashion, they go out of any sensible use whatever. So we are at that moment in human history when war is totally obsolete, dysfunctional. It's working backwards against itself. The more we kill, the more terrorists we create. I think everybody, including all the military, understand that. And therefore the question is, why don't we stop it and use the money for a lot better things here at home and out around the world? Because 59% of our annual United States budget is spent on military matters, on war and what's left over from war. 59%. 59 cents of every dollar you send to Washington goes to war. Well, imagine if you had some of that back or all of it back here in Vermont. What we could do for the benefit of the people and the whole family of life, all the creatures, the deer herd, the trout, the trees, all the glory that we live in, if that money didn't go to the death industry. And that's what it really was called by Buckminster Fuller, the death industry. So folks, I'm running for the abolition of war as a human invention. We don't need it anymore. Diplomacy, uh, care and kindness to our friends throughout the world and throughout the domain of nature is an absolutely natural thing for Vermonters to do. So that's why and how I'm running. And as I go around the state, I'll be trying to help you and the towns become national peace academies, become nonviolent study programs, become whatever it takes for us to be the leaders in the abolition of war as a human tragedy.